Mic drop. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's right. All right. You, right after the word va'aneni, you put your pasuk and then you say you that sort of fee. After every shmoni, a first letter and the last letter. If you have two names, I'm going to go with, Sh- with Shlomo and I'm going to tell you to do it. Delicious. Really? How you doing? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, boys. All right, let's focus. Let's let's let's, let's circle back. All right, we have a midash. Sabbath b'nei sabbath b'nav. The pasuk says that hatred ar- arises, anger and strife. This is a midrash, which means it's black and white. The midrash is meant for you to learn something. Okay, that's the purpose of a midrash. So this is the words of the midrash, and we're going to break it down. The midrash says, Sabbath b'nei aron v'et b'nav, zeh sh'amar ha-katuv, which says in Mishleh, sinah te'orer medanim, that hatred arouses how do you explain it? Judgments. Is, uh, huh? judgments. judgments. Very nice. Judgments. Right? The, sin, uh, the hatred that Haron brought about between B'nai Israel and HaKadosh Baruch Hu caused severe judgments on B'nai Israel. What sin did he do? He brought, he made the egg hill. No, no. He I brought mean, the egg he, hill. He made it by, by telling them, by warning them. And then one second, one second. We didn't get there yet. I you said that already. I did. I, I'm reviewing. Absolutely. But the first, we got to, look, you got to go based on what the Midrash is saying and then you got to break it down. You got to first say what it says. So Rabbi Asi comes and says that you learn from this. I need quiet. Shh. You learn from this that Aaron took the korban of the Bnei Israel, that is, and he defaces it in front of them. And he says, which I don't know what I exactly translate that, but it definitely ain't good. And he tells them, look what you did. You're, you're, you're doing nothing. It's worthless. It's worthless. It says, De'u. No, da. Whenever it says in the Zohar, da. This is pre or post? Post, no, post, during. post, or during. He says to them, look, it's not a god. It's not right, what does he do? He crushed it. Oh, he broke the piece. He the piece. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bull, a bull, a bull. She'en bo mamash. That the ego has got nothing. Like you said, right, he crushed it. He broke it with a hammer or something. He said, by the way, who else did something similar? Who knows? Yes. When? In Terex. Shop. Yeah. What happened? Tell me the story. Everyone, please be quiet. Please be quiet. <laughs> he ran around the store, smashing all the Avodazoris. No, no, no. Start from the beginning. The Start from the beginning. His father had a, a shop, Avodazoris. He was the head of the... Uh, he was like a merchandise guy. Like he's a, a, he's a retailer. 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 Call it what it is. So retailer. He was of, of the Avodazoris in there. He was hard. So <laughs> while, while he went out to go do something, Avram went out. He around. says, go watch the store. Yeah. Watch but what's that? Before yeah. he smashed, a woman comes in. Yeah. With some, you know, with some flour, fine flour. It says, oh, give it to the strongest uh, Abu Dazara. So he tells her, okay. And she leaves. He takes the hammer. Go ahead, continue. Once he's got the hammer, that's this part I remember. He goes down <laughs> and starts smashing all the Abu Dazaras, And then he takes the hammer and puts it in the biggest statue there. And, and when the father comes back, maybe his family as well. Father, he goes, father. He the father and he's terror. And he says... Oh, this guy did it. No, no, and no. What did he, what, what did he what say? He he okay, him. now you're out. You he continue. Asked. No, no, continue. Continue. He asked Abraham, what are you doing? Well, no, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Right? And what does he say? He's, that's when he says to him, the big guy... They all started fighting, is what the Midrash says. <laughs> this is, you're out, you're out. You're out. The Midrash... Expl- they say, I'm telling you word for word the Midrash says. I mean, that's, the big guy grabbed the hammer and smashed them all. Right. And he said, you fool. The big guy can't do anything. None of these things can do They all fake. And what, is, what, what, is, what does Abraham and say? Why are you serving them as your God? You're out. Ah! So close, but so you're out. Close. So close. The Midrash says, do your, do your ears hear what your mouth is saying? Very good. Do your ears, this is what Abraham, little Abraham is telling his father, Tera. do your ears hear what your mouth is saying? You're saying it's got nothing and yet you bow down to them? Right. That's when he got kicked out. That, that one, he, you know, he kind of went yeah. over the line there. He got some problems. <laughs> he got some issues. But it worked out well. It worked yeah, out well. So now the Midrash... Uncharacteristically obnoxious about who? Hmm. You can. Do you have to respect your father? No. Definitely not. 100% not. You should not make teshuvah. How do we know? Because the pasuk says that Abraham is going to lie with his fathers. So we know from that that he's made teshuvah. Because otherwise his fathers ain't going to be here. <laughs> he's going to be down there. 
So they say they say. So they say that yeah, it's a midrash. I don't know. I, it's something. They say also Haman. Haman had thoughts of teshuvah. How else could be zochet to have his great grandkids learning Torah and b'nei b'rak? Spark remember that match with Mordechai when his heart was full. Remember? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Tell me, yeah, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? No tangents, no side combos. That Mordechai uh, Haman had a spark somehow in him, and that when Mordechai got all of his stuff included, he got that spark, and then through that, he was able to have grandkids. What do you mean? Mordechai, Mordechai inherited. Everything from Haman. Because of what happened in the Midbar. Including the spark. Because what happened in the Midbar, or no? No, because it ended when, up in Ebrah. Oh, at the end, at the end. Where do you get those sparks? Redeemed from the Sudas Esther. Because when his heart was full, he was feeling good. That's what gave him the Dusha to have children. That's what gave him the Dusha to have children. That's what gave him the Dusha to have children. That's what gave him the Dusha to have children. That's unbelievable. He left the Sudas. How could a Russia get Simcha? Because he ate the Sudas. He left the Sudas feeling good. Yeah. The minute he sees Mordechai, he lost it. Right. He had that spark. So, I, so, so Mordechai took the spark. Mordechai got all of his, his home, everything, including that. Plus, and then plus his nitzots, yeah. It always bothered me. You have a nitzvah to, to wipe out a malek. Yeah. Completely because the essence is evil. Yeah. 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 So, so, so how yeah. could they bring Mordechai to the Megaya? They were what? They were the They weren't Megaya. They were Megaya. Even their shorish has been Even then, he attacked a Jewish girl. By the way, Amalek, if Amalek marries a Moab, is the, is the baby Amalek or Moab? If, a, if an Amalek, if an Amaleki marries a Moabi, all right, and the Moabi has a kid, it's a Moabi. So it's not Amalek anymore. So the great grandkids could be from the Moabi. Because he's asking, he's asking, how could you allow. All right, can we focus? We gotta focus. Come on. Well, how do we get to Amalek over here? We're talking about Savit Aaron Ved Banav Lemur. I'm trying. I'm getting there. Shh. Listen, we're very much of an equal opportunity lender. And I'm very much, I love the dialogue. But, but at the same time, I'm very strict. At the same time, I'm strict. You making fun of me? He's allowed to make fun of me. No one else is, but he's allowed. <laughs> right, so the issue is that was he upset because he made the egg or upset because he gave them a warning? The question Midrash, the issue of the Midrash is why does it say hatred? Why does it say sinah? Why does it say sinah? If you look at later, it says it says Hata'a Gedula you brought them. Not sinah Gedula. It says you brought them a, a great sin. Why did Moshe say hatred? Brought, Aharon brought something very bad to Bnei Israel. The, the, messed up the relationship, so to speak, between the relationship between God and 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 uh, and Bnei Israel. But the wording is messed up. Excuse my French, because the wording the wording says sinah hatred, right? Why lama mat sinah shenatan Aharon velo amar het. Right? Like the Pasuk says, <coughs> You brought upon them a great sin. Reuven, you get it? Why does the Midrash say hatred? There's no one talked about hatred. Yeah. We're talking about sin. Yeah, you brought me a great, great sin, which brings a great, a great debt. Agreed. But why you say, why does the Midrash say the word sinah? It's not a hatred, it's a sin. That's the question. We have a midrash. We have a midrash in Shemot, right? And it's, but what it says Vayihal Moshe? Who knows what the word Vayihal means? Like he pleaded. Pleaded. Vayihal Moshe. We read it. We read it at, on every fast. We read it on every fast. Vayihal Moshe. Right? He's he's pleading. Moshe pleads. He says Moshe, uh, Moshe says in front of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Vehalo en bo mamash. What are you jealous about? There's nothing here. What are you really? Let it go. You're it's really gonna care? Yeah, he says, yeah. Lama takoes ala mecha. And that's what it means. Lama adonai yehere apecha. Why are you upset? Okay, fine. They, 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 it's got nothing. Ah, come on. What are you getting? You're getting all crazy? That's what Moshe's telling Hashem. Let it go. It means nothing. 
Who said that? <coughs> not you. <laughs> so according to Moshe Rabbeinu, what is Moshe, according to Moshe Rabbeinu, sh- come on, boys, I said I'm strict. I got to act strict. According to Moshe Rabbeinu, right? It's better, it's better that Bnei Yisrael did something that is fake, that is empty. It's better. Because if it was something real, then it would have been much more worse, hard. according to Moshe. Ah. I'm going to show you why it matters in a minute. According to Moshe, it, it, it matters that, 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 that really, he's, that's his plea. His plea means that that's his, that's his this is his, uh, what's the word? This is his, 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 his play. play. This is his play. Yeah. This is his play. He's telling Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the one who made the world, this is his case. This is how he's going. He's going by saying that, what are you worried about? It's nothing. Look, if, if a hobo in the street says something to you, are you going to get all crazy? I don't care. It's a bum. A bum. If a bum says something to you, oh, whatever, you ain't going to care. I promise you, Moishi, you ain't going to care. He's a bum. If your friend says it, it's a whole different story. He's much closer to you. What are you talking about? No, you're that guy. <laughs> But if a bum says it, or someone that has no that no connection with you, or means nothing to you, you ain't gonna care, and rightfully so. Hashem, Moshe is telling Hashem, "This is a bum. What do you care? What's the big deal? What does it matter?" Hakadosh Baruch Hu sarich limchol lahem bishbil zeh. Zeh Hashem Shon is saying that Hakadosh Baruch Hu has to be mochel on them because of this. It's nothing. What do you care? That's Moshe's argument. Aharon has a different argument. I don't want to say completely opposite. I don't say who you tear hamur. It's worse. Avonotam bishbil sheembo mamash. It's worse the fact that there's nothing to it and they still attract. We're attracted to it. That's worse, and we'll prove it, so it from, shows what, like from outside. Were, how much if you're if you're if you're if you're twenty, and you do something wrong, your parents are going to treat you very differently as if you were ten and did the same thing wrong. What did I run? What did I oh, sorry, man. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I had no idea. I had no idea. If I knew, maybe I would have said something else. I feel awkward. I feel awkward. I feel a little bit awkward. I didn't know that was coming. You understand? The older you are, the more that is expected of you. Okay? So I don't... Shh. Shh. No, that's the problem. You're old. You had that. You got the Ten Commandments already. What are you talking? Hello. You saw the Ariya Kavod. You saw the Kolotu Barakim. You saw the sounds. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that six hours is too much for you to handle. I'm sorry. Mordechai, Mechila, Lichmodo. I'm sorry. Do me a favor. But if you're Dutch. No, if you're you're saying. What? Shh, don't do that. If Go ahead. If you're saying that, it's, that he, they're old, right? If you're making the case that of someone who's old gets treated, and they have higher expectations. They didn't have the. They didn't have the. They, it's literally like you know, a, a couple of months later. It's not like they were ten years in the desert and they're like, okay, now I made a mistake. The, I don't. The, the, exactly the point. I don't is saying it's much worse that you know that that. Okay, the question is on the egil. Does it have? Oh, is it Quality true? or not? Does it have a, a, a substance or value or not? Moshe's argument is the is the ego has no value. One wait, second. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. One second, please. I'm sorry. Mehila, mehila. One second. The egel, according to Moshe, Tom, has got no value. So right, a charge gets made in China. So what does Moshe say? Hashem, let it go. It means it's like, come on, it's it, it's silly that you're even getting upset. Because it's got nothing, and you know it's got nothing, so let it go. Aaron is the opposite. Remember, Aaron reprimanded Bnei Yisrael, but say, look, there's nothing here. And yet you still worship me. He bangs it up and says there's nothing here. I don't say, Deu she'en bo mamash. Yoni, I'm sorry to call you back today. It's still on my list. All right, good. I'm very excited. Good. I hope. I hear, I hear it knocks. <laughs> huh. Yes. Recommended them, and they continue doing it. The, so that's the that, question. That makes it. It's like we're expecting more from you. That goes back to what you said. Because if after Aaron told them they still continue doing it, that's the sinah that he brought on. No. Sinah because of their yeah, but the, because they did it despite yeah. his. Reputation. Before we get to the hatred, we have to understand the difference of viewpoints. Shh. 
difference is that Moshe is talking to Hashem, Aaron is talking to them. Also good, also true. Also true. Yoni, you're not, what are you, where are you going? I'm turning my son. He was in the car. Where is he? So he's going to walk in with me. Let's go. What are you doing? Come on. All right, listen. I'll tell you the difference. Moshe is using the fact that the eagle is nothing as, as, as uh, ammo or as, a, or as a defense to Hashem. What do you care if he's got nothing? Aharon is yelling at B'nai Sel that what are you doing? It has nothing and you're going that way. What are you Why doing? It's got hatred? nothing. So once I we get the hatred. First, you have to understand the difference yeah, in the way Moshe. Moshe okay, good. Do you understand the Aaron's perspective? Aaron's yeah. perspective is he got upset the very sale because you're going after something that's got nothing. One is Hashem. It's the same thing, but the same. It's the same. No, it's not. But one is going in a positive. One's going into the negative. Moshe is telling Moshe is telling. Come on, there's room. There's room. Uh, so Zev, find some chairs. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Moshe. Try it. I don't know. Moshe blew it off. Moshe's trying to blow it up, saying it's good. Way too much emphasis. Right, very nice, very nice, very nice. Yoni, what's your Hebrew name? Okay, good, hold on. No, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. Take a picture. You must. Mandatory. You have to say this at the end of the Amidah in order to save you in Olam Abba. Because when, when, when you, a person dies, they ask you what your name is. Any, any, you are, yeah, same narod, but you have to say mine is. Very good. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not, but yes, it is. That's Moshe Naron. Boys, boys. I said I go on tangents. I'm allowed. I paid for the papas. <laughs> Listen, 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 listen. Shh. 